About six years ago, my family moved back from Seattle to Cincinnati. We were settling in here, and uh, about 10 days later, my dad happened to fall and break his leg and his hip. My mom's health was failing, and within a couple months, unfortunately, we lost her. And my dad was recovering from his fall and rehabbing, but was primarily in a wheelchair. We ended up assessing whether or not he could continue to live in our family home a few months later and realized that it's not a wheelchair accessible home, so we ended up needing to put that house on the market. We had built a home uh, with my brother-in-law, who's an architect, and, and it was very personal to our way of life, and uh, we certainly just didn't want to put it on the market and not have any way in which it will still continue to be the place that we meant it to be, and, and uh, we were able to do that through the help of Karen and my son. I was still relatively new to being back in Cincinnati and hadn't heard of New Life Furniture Bank at all, but I thought, wow, this, this would be great. So we scheduled a pickup with New Life Furniture Bank that was very easy. They came out, they assessed the furniture, and they took virtually everything that they were able to take from my parents' home. That was just a godsend from heaven when that idea came forward because my wife and I were both raised with the discipline of giving and our children were also, and, and for the opportunity to give back from a place we loved so that other people could use the furniture and love the furniture as we did, just made all kind of sense. So we were just a blessing that we were able to get involved with new life and, and find a home for that furniture. For me to be able to tell our dad that this furniture was going to be going to help those that were in great need coming out of homeless shelters, domestic abuse, perhaps formerly incarcerated, it was such a blessing to be able to reassure my dad that this furniture that they've had for so long and, and was really a part of our, our family life was going to be going to help those in need. One of the reasons that it became important is because of my own experience in what is called a prison ministry program here in Greater Cincinnati. If we go down on Sunday morning for an hour either to the jail or to a drug and rehab center, talk to the people in the program, I have a Bible study and then talk about ways in which they can change their life. Part of that discussion always involves, well, where are we going to live? New life just became part of the process of that ministry also, which was a great delight, a great blessing. In my own life, I am motivated to give back. I love being able to help others. And this gives me a very concrete way of being able to give back to others through working for New Life Furniture Bank. I'm, I'm grateful that I'm involved with New Life because I know and I've seen lives being changed by what New Life coordinates and makes possible in the lives of people that never experienced anything like that before. So to be part of that kind of giving organization is quite a blessing.